to continuously rediscover the world. That is one of the goals of USMAT, the European School of Materials. But it's not only about new materials that can change the world. We get young scientists from over 30 nations on all continents, making internationality our basis rather than an exception. This is highly valued by Federico La Serra, a young scientist from Argentina who came to Europe for that reason. The most important thing is this international master, that we have the opportunity to work with people from Syria, from Europe, of course, uh, also from S South America, Asia, that's Africa as well. I have a friend of Libya, so that's great. I mean, that's... I won't forget this, I mean, and all the things that I learn and working and seeing this person every day with different cultures. USMAT is the only European school of materials research in Germany. It offers Federico and its other students optimal learning and working conditions. For example, the laboratories in Saarbrücken are equipped with an atom probe, an instrument worth millions that fascinates Jennifer Barrero. As a student here, she can enter and explore the atom world. Students have the possibility to pursue their ideas in a world-class environment strengthened by teamwork. Technology is uh, it's also important for us. Here we have the possibility of working with pieces of equipment that are just not available in our countries. So there's a combination of cultural and also technologies that makes it perfect. <laughs> But the students don't work exclusively in international teams. Learning the local language and getting to know the culture of the host country is just as important. For this reason, the young scientists are integrated into normal university life. Mengbo Zhu from China is captivated by the virtues of Germany, which is why he purposefully traveled to Saarbrücken from his homeland. I have decided to, to do my further study in Germany because I was fascinated by the the German spirit, the good teamwork, so very well organized. The advantage for USMAT students? They have access to a partnership between 30 <laughs> universities and research institutes in more than 12 countries. They learn during their studies as well as their leisure time what it truly means to live in a global world. It's about broadening their horizons through first-hand personal experiences, coming into contact with not only foreign languages but different cultures as well. This potential also appeals to the professors, who can search directly for students to share their vision with, students who can become a part of the international community. It's a network from research centers, from universities, which has a very high performance in material science and engineering. For the students, especially in master and PhD level, but also for bachelor level, and it is really what they need if we want to join scientific work or industrial work later. And so we are really well prepared for an international career in big companies. The future outlook is very good for the few students that are accepted into the study program. Not only the scientific community, but also the industry are looking for scientists like Amina Henny from Algeria who has signed her future employment contract even before finishing her studies. This company is really an international company. So they work with people from all over the world. And they needed somebody who has some scientific knowledge, but who also knows how to talk with other people, who also has this intercultural knowledge. And I think that this is the most important thing that the companies are looking for now. One thing is clear for these four students from around the world. Undertaking this study program and materials research was a worthwhile investment, and not just professionally speaking. Together with 400 other students, they have made their way into worlds that were previously unimaginable for them. They have the opportunity to put their visions and dreams into play thanks to their language and cultural skills. And as they profit from these assets, so do global companies and the scientific community at large.